Um, so for those of you who I haven't met yet, I'm Molly, I'm Megan's cousin. Uh, Megan's dad and my mom are brother and sister. Um, Megan and I are only about a year apart in age, so growing up, and neither of us have um, any sisters, so we kind of played that role for each other um, during family vacations and um, holidays. It would always be the two of us hanging out. Um, and then outside of that, we were very dedicated pen pals. We would write each other letters um, well into high school about all of the very important things that were going on in our lives. Um, we also made each other some really awesome mix CDs um, that I think we still might listen to on occasion. Um, but since we'd never lived in the same place before, I was thrilled when Megan moved to Chicago. Um, and now, finally, that we are past this wonderful winter that Megan was greeted with, <laughs> um, I'm hoping we have a lot of fun times ahead um, exploring the city. So as Megan and I have gone through high school and college, now that we're adults, um, I'm so proud of the intelligent, accomplished, and strong woman that she's become. Um, those of us who have known Megan throughout her life have known that it would take a pretty special guy to be her match. And I know that she has found that in David. The other good part about Megan being in Chicago is that I've gotten to know David too. Um, of course, as her cousin, her friend, her sort of sister, um, it's very important that I approve of the guy that she's with. Um, and luckily for David, there has never been um, any question in my mind about him. Um, we've all heard the old adage that opposites attract, and um, I guess, you know, we might know some people where that's true, but um, as Megan's dad alluded to, um, I think for most people, the most successful couples um, that I know, and in our family, we have some really great examples. It's more about finding someone who balances you, um, someone who knows your strengths and your weaknesses and can play off of that, someone who puts up with and even appreciates those little quirks that we all have, and someone who brings out the best in you. What's great about Megan and David is that when you're with them, you get the sense that they're really content, not just with their relationship and with each other, but they're content with themselves. They're really their best selves when they're around each other. And I'm not sure that anyone can ask for too much more from a marriage and from a partner in life. Um, Megan are, and David are truly blessed to have found each other. Um, so please raise your glasses and join me in wishing Megan and David health, happiness, and many wonderful years together.